happy Thanksgiving! Welcome back. It's Friday, so we're doing Friday 5. Um, and I thought since Thanksgiving is over and we are turning towards Christmas, and a lot of times people gift, get, gift books as Christmas presents for little ones, I thought I'd share our favorite five books, or some of our favorite books, and these are five of them. So our first one is the Magic Treehouse series. We have been reading it like crazy. You love it, don't you? Yes. We love it. Like <laughs> um, I use it as read-alouds every night, so we'll read several chapters every night and the kids will play with Legos or just sit and listen, um, but they love it. And so we don't actually own any, we um, just rent them from the library. And I have gone to the used bookstore and um, bought a couple that we wanted to read that the library didn't have. But those are super, super fun. Jack and Annie are brother and sister, and they find a magic tree house, and it takes them to different places um, across history and across time and across the world, and it's, it's really cool. Um, this one is about going back into the Mayan times, um, but they have, we read about um, Nightingale, different wars, uh, the Olympics, tons and tons of stuff and it's so fun because afterwards um, if the kids are really interested we'll look it up. Who was the one the musician um, from New Orleans? Louis Armstrong. Louis, Louis Armstrong? No that's a singer. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's not the musician. The musician that goes up on stage? No no not that guy. Anyway so with her oh, yes. with that one about Louis Armstrong we um like looked up old YouTube videos of him singing different songs. It was it was a lot of fun. So it's also a way to like kind of get them interested in history and that kind of thing. Um, what? Um. You want to say hi? <laughs> hi. Hi. Okay. One of the other ones is Rose meets Mr. Winter Garden. My son loves this one, and I actually took this in to their kindergarten class and read it to the class. It's a great story about. Um, learning to get to know people and not uh, trust gossip and how to be kind and it's a great lesson in uh, seeing that just one act of kindness can change somebody's whole day and even their whole world. So this is a great one. We love this one. Um, another pick is Madeline. Madison picked this one. So I've been reading this one to them for years and now Madison is able to read it herself. She actually read it to me last night. Um, you're here for a reason. This is one we got a couple door? years ago for, um, him, hang on, let me finish this, for a Christmas thing, but it's just talking about you follow this, like, red, um, kite through it, and it's just talking about how you're here for a reason and that you can change the world, basically, so that's a good one. And then the last one is a series, and it's the, um, it's from us. Usborn? I don't know if it, how that's if I'm saying it right. But um, I got these for my kindergarten kindergartners who are now first graders um, to help them read. Let me find one. So um, they're great. It's Usborn First Readers. And so if you look at it, if you see there's small words, and so I read the small words, the kids read the big words. Because a lot of times with the kids' books, it's like all them reading, and it's like, see Jack run, run up a hill. Like there's no like story or plot, so it's not interesting. So this way, I read a section, it gives the book a little bit more plot, but then the easier stuff um, the kids will read. And so they've been really been liking that. We've been reading one like one a day, um, and I just let the kids pick. And there's there's a ton of them. Look, all of these are from that same section. And it's not cheap. I think I think it was like 80 bucks. But I figure um, since I've got four kids, excuse me, I said please wait. Since I have four kids that are going to be using them, 20 bucks a kid, not that bad. Um, so those are our favorites for right now. I'd love to hear some of your favorites, especially if you have some of the series that we could use as read-alouds, because I'm pretty sure we're almost done with the Magic Treehouse series. Um, I would love to know, so leave those in the comments below, and um, I will definitely check them out. So we hope you have a great Friday, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.